Earth is the fifth largest planet in the solar system and the biggest planet if you exclude the gas and ice giants. Earth is the biggest and most massive planet of the inner solar system, or the rocky planets. It is just ever so slightly bigger than our planet's so-called twin, Venus. The oldest atoms found in the system have been found to be in between 4.568 and 4.5686 billion years old. From 4.5 to 4.58 billion years ago, a, bo- a big body is said to have started to form where a planet now orbits. Our lunar co- counterpart is said to have formed less than 4.5 years ago. The moon is thought to have formed when a celestial body around the size of Mars and with a weight of 10% of Earth's collided into our planet. This body is commonly known as Thea. And by the way, the Earth's weight is 5.97 multiplied by 10 to the 24th power kilograms or around 13 multiplied by 10 to the power of 24th pounds or 5,970 yatograms. 32.1% of the Earth's weight comes from iron, and another 30.1% comes from oxygen. Earth is the only known planet to harbor significant amounts of water in the liquid form. 71% of the Earth's surface is occupied by water, 96.5% being oceans. The surface of Earth is made of several tectonic plates, which interact with each other to produce mountains, earthquakes, and other surface features. Earth's name dates back for at least a thousand years. Earth is the only planet to not be named after Roman or Greek god or goddess. Every other planet in the solar system is named after one, although the name is a Germanic word, which simply means the ground. By the way, Germanic is basically an early version of a combo of languages, including English, German, Yaddish, and Dutch. Because of the Earth's liquid outer core, Earth is a magnetic field. The magnetic field creates the magnetic sphere, which shields the planet's atmosphere from being ripped away from solar wind. You probably already knew that our atmosphere consists mostly of gaseous nitrogen and oxygen. To be more specific, the atmosphere is composed of around 78.08% nitrogen, 20.95% oxygen, along with around 1% water vapor, depending on the climate. Argon is the most abundant inert gas in the atmosphere, with it being around 0.93% of it. Even after the ozone layer, a molecule made by the molecule O3, the average radiation dose is around 0.274 microsieverts per hour, or around 300 nanosieverts. The tropics receive more energy than the poles, and this explains why they are hotter. But because they are hotter, they transfer heat toward the poles, mostly via the atmosphere and the ocean's currents. There is plenty of water vapor in the atmosphere, resulting in big, fluffy objects, commonly known as clouds. These objects are spread all over the planet. CO2, which is commonly known as carbon dioxide, and CH4, also known as methane, are special gases. These amazing gases help keep the planet warm by trapping heat emitted from the sun. Our planet is an ellipsoid with a circumference of approximately 40,000 kilometers, 25,000 miles, or 40 megameters. Our planet has the highest density of any planet in the solar system at an average of 5.51 grams per cubic centimeter. Like all rocky planets, Earth does not have rings. If you've heard that Earth is egg-shaped, it isn't. But it is true that Earth is not a perfect sphere, as it bulges out at the equator, making it a slightly flattened sphere. Because of this, the farthest place from the center of the Earth is actually the Chimborazo volcano, which is situated in Ecuador, and not the tallest mountain from sea level, which happens to be Mount Everest. The average distance from the core to the crust is around 
6,371 kilometers or around 3,950 miles. While at the equator it is 6,378.137 kilometers. The equator is warmer because at the equator the earth is practically straight or vertical but near the poles it is almost flat or horizontal making that light have to travel uh, have to affect a larger region the video on the screen should demonstrate it better that also explains why the winter are colder because of the tilt they are also cold because of the shorter day potassium 40 uranium 238 and thorium 232 are the main sources of the current heat and some left over from the formation, causing the core to be around 6,000 degrees Celsius or 10,830 degrees Fahrenheit, along with a massive pressure of 360 gigapascals, 52 million PSI, or around 3,550,000 times the atmospheric pressure. Sometimes an asteroid comes close enough to be captured for some time, but it is still going too fast to stay in orbit for long. Other times asteroids come close to Earth's orbit, but they are still orbiting the Sun and not our planet. But other than those temporary moons, our planet has only a single permanent natural satellite, which is the moon. This body is around 1.3 light seconds, or 384,000 kilometers away, or 240,000 miles on average. The moon is around a quarter as wide as our planet. Because of tidal locking, one side is always facing toward us, and the other side always faces away. Because the moon is so big, it causes tides and stabilizes our planet's wobble, making it more habitable, by making the climate change less. Earth orbits the Sun, and it takes sunlight a bit longer than 8 minutes to arrive on Earth, and that varies depending on the time of year. That is because, on average, the Sun is 150 million kilometers away from us, 93 million miles, or 150 gigameters. When it is closest, the Sun is 3 million kilometers closer, or 1.9 million miles, and at its farthest, it is 12 million miles farther, which happens to be in July, while the closest happens to be in January. It takes the planet around 365.25 days to orbit. Because of the extra almost quarter, we have to have leap years, but because it is in a perfect quarter, if the year number is divisible by 100 and not 400, it is a leap year. A month is supposed to be one orbit of the moon around the sun, but it takes around 28 days for the moon to orbit, but the average month is two days longer, with the biggest months being three days longer. Because of the rotational axis being off from the orbital plane by 23.4 degrees, the planet has seasons. It takes Earth slightly less than a day to rotate once around itself, or 23 hours, 56 minutes, 4 seconds, and around 100 milliseconds. But, because on average, the Earth is traveling at around 30 kilometers per second, or 19 miles per second, it appears that a day is 24 hours. Speaking of which, our planet's rotation its speed is constantly changing, and you should click on the upper left to learn more about how the biggest dam in the world actually slows Earth's rotation, and how the moon does the same thing too. Oh, you're not interested, are you? Then try the video on the right.